Once upon a time, high school girls were shy about eating in public and would hide their mouths to avoid being watched when slipping down noodles. Upon watching this, Mr. Yoshitomi came up with the idea of opening each run. Now, let's find out each run's operation strategy to help it achieve the business goal of promoting flavor concentration and food customization. Upon entering the restaurant, we were greeted by a bright, smiling waiter, which created a good first impression. Since it was not during peak hours, we were lucky to directly enter the dining area without any waiting. Along the long corridor was a line of solitary dining booths set with side panels that screen each diner from looking into the adjacent seats, taking solo dining to the extremes. Storage baskets were provided at the end of the corridor. On the wall behind the dining booths, there were hooks for closing bags and the tissue boxes. Guidebooks in different languages were placed above each individual booth for first comers to read. After seating ourselves, we got a little cup from a waiter who is viewed at only crouch level through a bamboo curtain. It was convenient to get some water from the tap placed at the table corner. Now, it was time to customize our own ramen simply by circling what we wanted. Without any distraction, we filled out the order form with as much privacy as filled out a voting ballot. Then, we pressed the button on the tabletop to call for the waiter. Just in a minute, a pair of hands magically popped out to take the order sheet. About 10 minutes later, the customized bowl of ramen slid out from behind the curtain like a gift. The faceless staff then put down the curtain and left us alone with our thoughts and soup. The spoon was designed with two little grooves to hang onto the bowl ring, prevent it from falling into the hot soup. To make an additional order, we put a little tray on the electric button before pressing it to call for the waiter. Immediately, the bamboo curtain was raised and a pair of hands appeared to take away the tray. About one minute later, the curtain was raised again to deliver the additional dish. After finishing the meal, we were about to take the other sheet to the counter when a pair of hands thrust into the booth from behind the curtain to whisk away all the leftovers. However, the payment process was a bit longer with a single cashier dealing with several lining up customers. Let's identify each one's unique operation strategies to infuse each customer's dining experience with food customization and flavor concentration. For food customization, each one serves a single type of ramen with different levels of flavor strength, bronze richness, noodles texture, and sauce spiciness, including multiple add-ins for customers to choose from. For flavor concentration, it strips a single meal of all unnecessary distractions through the design of individual dining booths and minimizes the surface encounter. Compared with traditional noodle restaurants, where you just move down noodles amid the clatter of bowls and slurping noises of other diners, each one enables each customer to just focus on the ramen in front of them. However, there is still some potential improvement in its individual booth design. Firstly, the solitary carol may sometimes hinder communication among customers, especially family members or friends. This can be improved through changing fixed panels into flexible ones. Secondly, the bamboo cutters may prevent waiters from correctly judge whether customers finished eating or just make a temporary relief. To deal with it, an extra button may be placed on the table for customers to press as a signal of finishing and leaving.